If you're just tuning in, we're discussing boosting your immunity with yoga. Now, yoga is a great practice for both the body and the mind, and it offers peace and mindfulness to its lovers and helps them get through daily stress. Now, Rajesh Menon is a certified yoga trainer at Art of Living, and he has joined us via Zoom. He's going to be doing the practical. We'll just be watching. So remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Waysho Africa One with the hashtag Ways or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 Now, please, if you're home, it would be nice for you to join Rajesh as he takes us through the, um, the yoga practice. But before we bring up um, Rajesh, you wanted to quickly explain what he's doing today. Sure. Yeah. So uh, what he, Rajesh is doing today is a set of immunity booster asanas or the physical postures. Mm -hmm. Now, as I said earlier, yoga is not just the postures. Uh, it involves physical postures plus a little bit of breathing exercises and meditation. That together is a good set of practice. So uh, immu the immunity booster protocol from Art of Living consists of these set of postures which Rajesh is going to demonstrate today, which includes inversions, little bit of twist of abdomen and expansions. So with inversions, there is an increased uh, uh, flow of blood and lymphatic fluids, which is important for boosting immunity. For with, when you uh, twist your spine, it is good for your kidneys and you know, uh, for your digestive system. And then the expansions help you get more oxygen into your lungs. So more oxygen flows into mm, the system. That's nice. And after these asanas or the physical postures, we should do a little bit of breathing exercise and meditation, which I think today, because of the um, timing, paucity of yeah. time, we may not be able to demonstrate, but we'll talk about it. Let's first, yeah. uh, you know, get started. Let's, Let's hit get the started. mat. All right, so Rajesh, over to you, if you can hear us. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, all right. Okay, so let's move. Good evening, everybody. And welcome to Art of Living Yoga. We wishing you all a very happy International Day of Yoga. So let's get started. We we'll start not with a sitting asana or a standing asana, lying down. We'll go somewhere in between. We're going to come on all fours to start with today. Right? Your knees and your feet are about hip width apart. Your palms right below your shoulders. Your fingers spread out. We're going to do something called the Cow stretch and the cat stretch. The cow goes moo, moo, moo. Your head goes out. Your stomach comes down. Your back is down. Your tailbone or your hip goes up. Breathing in. Breathing out. Your chin goes to your chest. Your back is arched up. And your hip pulled down. Ready? You can do this at your own pace. Breathing in. Going up into cow. Breathing out. Going down into cat. Now, this is excellent to regulate your thyroid glands. Your thyroid glands, regulating a thyroid gland, generates the killer cells, extremely important for fighting diseases, building resistance. So, breathing in, going up, breathing out, into cat. Once again, breathe in, up. You can smile. <laughs> Make sure you enjoy the stretch, slow and out. Now breathing in, keep your back to a neutral position. With your tabletop, bringing your knees and heels together. Slide back and sit down on your heels, arms stretched out, your head down. It's a nice relaxation posture. Interestingly, it's called the child pose. You see, in, you can notice a lot of children lying down like this, just relaxing. Slowly slide up and sit in a posture called the Vajrasana or the diamond or thunderbolt posture. Extremely helpful for aiding the digestive function. Also regulates your thymus glands, very important part of your uh, immunity system and your lymphatic system. And it helps the flow of energy and, and blood into the thymus. So slowly stand up. Do some stretching and now uh, all the way from our toes to our fingertips. Right? Standing straight and tall with your feet parallel to each other. Hands go up, all the way up, stretch it out. And gently behind. 
Now feel the stretch. The stretch is all the way from your toes, through your knees and your hips, your rib cage, your shoulders, your elbows, to your fingertips. Excellent stretch. And you know, you can go all the way back. Or you can go all the way here. It's the same posture gives you the same benefit. Depends on who is doing it. Remember, yoga is for everybody. Come forward and get down. And try to bring your fingers all the way to your toes. And I say yoga is for everybody. I mean, it's for everybody. It may be thin, fat, short, tall, stiff body, or flexible. It's for everybody. Breathing in. With a smile, come up, stretch up, and relax. That was an inversion pose, stimulates the circulation of okay, I think we're lucky. your body. Okay. Just now, with your right foot outwards, 90 degrees, your left foot slightly inwards, keep facing forward, breathing in, arms in line with your shoulders, breathing out, slide to your right. You now, bending your slide. Breathing out, your right palm to your right ankle. Left palm goes up, and you're looking at your left palm. Everything is done with a smile. Your objective is to stay still and keep breathing normally. So, uh, As I said, different levels. You can adjust your asanas accordingly. You can release your knee a little bit if it becomes too strenuous. So breathing in again, the max straight. Can I say something? Exhale and relax. So, uh, Rajesh, you may have to move a little faster, side. little faster because we have less time. So, yeah. you have to go fast. So, what's Left the next goes step? Out. Yeah. Right foot slightly inward, if facing forward, breathing in, out, relax. Breathing out, slide to the left. Mm -hmm. Breathe in again. Exhale, left hand down, right hand up. Okay. If the position there is the one is good. Your breathing is as important as your stretch and flexing your muscles and stretches. The breath enhances the benefits of every posture. Mm -hmm. So it's important that you take your posture only to that point where you can breathe easily and stay there comfortably. And relax. Bring it down. Bring your feet together. And let's sit down. Most of the sitting postures start with your legs stretched out. Yeah. We're going to do a sitting down spinal twist. Going to place our left foot next to the right knee, and the right heel goes to the side of your left hip. Sitting in, you lift your. Let's do it this way so you can say it better. So I said, left heel to the right hip, right foot across your left knee, holding on, breathing in, lift your right hand up, then across your right elbow. The in, your left hand goes up, cross your knee, hold on to your Right ankle. Breathe in again. Will be high. You have to hold the posture and continue breathing. In this posture, you see most of your organs in the abdominal region are twisted. Okay, I think. Um, and they get a nice massage. Yeah, wow. it helps so, for your so diabetes, so intestinal problem, gastric problems. You can do the same on the other side. Can we uh, move uh, forward, Rajesh? Is there, is there uh, how many steps? There are too many steps actually. Many? Uh, yeah, a few oh. more. So <laughs> we should uh, go a little fast. To the next and step, Rajesh. Show the sequence. Instead of uh, giving the commentary, let's show the sequence. Yeah. So that people know some somewhat what is this protocol about. Bridge pose. Heels forward, lifting your thyroid glands below your neck 
and slowly come down. Relax. The next one is the shoulder stand, which again is an inversion booster. Very beneficial for boosting your immunity. Slowly lifting your head up. And so don't try this. Like slow. I can do this. I, I do, can this. do this. One. You do this one. Yes, I do okay, this no, a lot. Not standing, like I push it. No, down. I do. I, I do this. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I do this. I do this. And then slowly come down. Very slowly without the jerk. Wow. Like I push my legs all the way back. Then you do slide down like spinal twist. That's the yeah, second. Bring your hands stretched out. Keeping your right foot on your left knee, oh. bringing it to the left side and turning your head to the other side. It's a nice deep stretch. And do it on the other side. Yeah, I think it's Same way. We want to ask good questions. Please. Okay. You're in time also. So ask him to down. Speak. And then gently roll over to your stomach. <laughs> I don't want to stop Some it. Interesting it's interesting. Be, like I'm hooked. It is. Yeah. Let him now the cobra that actually we're talking about, the children do a lot. Yeah. Coming up, feet together, elbows close to your body. Look up. Mm, that's the cobra. cobra. Right? Excellent. Good. With flow of energy expansion of your chest. Where your shoulders are. Up. And come down slowly. Anybody can do. Now the one is the bow pose. Holding up your ankles. Breathing in. Bring your head and chest up. Exhaling, pull your knees and thighs up on the wings. Yes. And look up. Good, the body is in the form of a bow. <laughs> okay. Breathing out. Right, guys, we have to cut you. We, can, we have little, we have like five minutes more. We have to ask. Um, That's fine. Oh yeah. oh yeah thank you thank, thank you so you. much namaste <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll have to come right. to meet you to do our own live sessions but someone is asking a question uh, he's a viewer from london he says good evening ladies what's the difference between yoga and mindfulness and they both involve thinking from the inside out that's what adi is asking and um, Isi says she's watching and she's doing the practice that is so easy Lovely. and she's enjoying the exercise. It's easy to do. All right, so quickly, what's the difference between yoga and mindfulness? So mindfulness is establishing ourselves within, yeah. going within. Mm -hmm. And that is what yoga leads to. Oh, right? okay. So it is, you know, most of our attention is outwards. Mm. We are doing something, we are working. So most of our attention is there out. So mm -hmm. collecting the mind inward making it calm and focused mm -hmm. and that's what uh, mindfulness is awesome. and yoga leads to that okay so right. okay, okay go ahead. Um, I, i'm very curious about this um thing oh um, okay <laughs> <laughs> what is it about so this is very uh, it has a very deep uh, thing behind so om is made up of three sounds a u m mm. um, and most of the religions around the world have taken this sound. So, Amin, Amen, Shalom. Ah, okay. The Hindus, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Hindus say Om. And then the scientists just uh, found out that the sound of the cosmos, the, this is the prevalent sound in the cosmos. You see why people run away from yoga? It, it's <laughs> deep. It's just too deep. Too deep, yeah. Like, how do so we go much, from here to the universe? There's so much depth in but yoga can that you, I can literally leave my body. You know, and you know, go in a different <laughs> realm. Is that possible? Yeah, yeah. I, think I so. don't think so. I don't know. So I'm not qualified to uh, comment on that. But what I can say is that uh, yoga has a lot of depth in it, and when we practice more and more, we uh, go to our subtleness in life. Like for example, intuition increases. What is intuition? It is that subtle uh, energy inside which tells us do this, mm. right? The gut feeling which you call. Mm. So yoga will help in all these aspects. Mm. Okay, so I was going to say that for people that are struggling with weight, they are in and out of weight gain, weight loss, weight gain, weight loss. If they if they practice yoga, would it would it help them? You know, in losing weight. So I want to say one thing that we should not be too uh, finicky about over being overweight. Yes, of course, if it is unhealthy to an unhealthy level, yes. But, you know, this trend of being very slim and mm -hmm. thin, I don't think that's a great... Uh, because some people who are chubby, they are also very healthy. Mm. You can't say that they are unhealthy. Mm -hmm. 
but yes of course if you have a condition uh, yoga there are certain practices in yoga and there are some focused programs which talk about yoga asanas breathing and diet mm. and general lifestyle change mm. which will help you in weight loss and we do that i mean we do a little longish mm. uh, weight loss program with yoga okay so I, I have one final question if i'm really sick you know would you advise that i, I so it do depends yoga? when you say really what uh, what do you mean by really but if you're like on bed in a hospital mm. uh you cannot do anything right mm. however if you can do little bit of pranayama wherever you are so what's pra- we speak in english pranayama <laughs> is what breathing <laughs> so pranayama is a breathing uh, okay. set of uh, many different varieties of breathing techniques okay prana means uh, subtle life force energy yama is channelizing that energy okay so with some specific pranayamas which is the breathing, breathing exercise yeah. you can just sit and you know like the most famous many people know about this is this alternate nostril breathing mm. where you breathe in through one nostril breathe out through the other mm. breathe in through the other, right breathe out through the left mm. so this doing it steadily and slowly it is phenomenal it has amazing results wow. you know on the on the health of a person wow so just maybe 5 minutes sit straight on your bed and practice breathing in uh, you know alternate nostril mm. breathing So uh,